T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion is normal. It is T plus 45 seconds, and we've just had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload on its way to its targeted orbit. In just about 20 seconds coming up here, we will be passing through max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. That is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And we've just heard that call out from Max Q. Coming up next in about a minute will be three events back to back, starting off with MECO or main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation. And this is where the first stage separates from the second stage. And then followed by SES 1, which is second engine startup. And back engine chill. And we should be able to see all three of those events live on your screen. But right now we've got an awesome view looking aft on the vehicle with the earth in the background. Now, if you're just now joining us, we're about 30 seconds away from Miko main engine cutoff, stage separation and SES one or second engine start one. There's that main engine cut off. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Let's see the stage separation. First stage separating from second stage on your left screen. And, and on the right, second engine startup. That's that MVAC engine on our second stage. And there's that bright red glow on the engine. So now coming up in about 20 seconds is fairing deploy. And as Lauren mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to catch both payload fairing halves on our recovery vessels, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. We will un it will be unlikely that we will see these live on the webcast. So we'll bring you updates as they become available. But you can also check into our social media for updates as well. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that call out for Fairing separation. There's fairing deploy. You can see that on your right screen. Those fairing halves are now making, you can see that on your screen actually, the fairing halves are making their way back to Earth and hopefully we can catch those on our recovery vessels. AOS Bermuda.
Okay, so we have on both sides of your screen here, we got stage one on the left and stage two on the right. So a lot of really cool stuff coming up all at once or in rapid succession here in the next few minutes. On the left side, what we're gonna see on the stage one side of things is at about T plus six minutes and 24 seconds, more or less, you're gonna hear the call out and hopefully visually see the stage one entry burn. That's where we reignite three of those uh, Merlin 1D engines and that allows the second, sorry, the first stage to slow down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's stage atmosphere. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. All right, as you just heard, stage two is on a nominal trajectory. That's really cool. Meanwhile, stage one is coasting down, uh, getting ready for that entry burn. That burn's gonna last just under 20 seconds. After that entry burn, stage one will continue to coast down towards the drone ship. And at about T plus eight minutes or so, you're gonna hear the call out for the landing burn. That is where we reignite a single Merlin 1D engine, that center engine E9, and that slows the vehicle down to zero velocity. And hopefully you'll see a cool image of it standing right up on the drone ship. Meanwhile, stage two continues to perform nominally, wearing that MVAC is at full power. Now, right after the stage one landing, about 20 seconds later, you're gonna hear the call out for Seco one, that second engine cutoff one. That is where we cease to burn the second stage engine and takes us into our first coast phase. That stage two engine is burning with more than 200,000 pounds of thrust as it takes that stack of 60 Starlink satellites to its first parking orbit. Stage one entry startup. All right, you see that entry burn as it started. So we lost the image, but hopefully it'll come back. That entry burn was just under 20 seconds long. Meanwhile, stage two, stage as you one, can see, entry shut down. Stage two continues to burn, and we just heard the call out that the entry burn on stage one has concluded. Stage two continues on a nominal trajectory. So we're a little bit under uh, a minute from the landing burn start. Meanwhile, stage two, as you just heard, continues on a nominal trajectory. Stage one, transonic. and just under 15 seconds, stage one should start that landing burn. Hopefully stage we'll one get landing startup. Back. All right, that landing burn is currently going. Unfortunately, we don't have the video from the vehicle, but we do have the drone Stage one landing light deploy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. All right, and yes. Awesome, that's the third landing of this booster. Second time landing on, of course, I Still Love You. Chopper man has landed. Operators, please proceed. Very cool. Please. And yeah, any second now, we should be seeing Seco 1. That is where that second stage engine will cut off. That animation there, but let's still listen out for the call. Out. Done. All right, as you just heard, second engine shut down. Oh, as Cape expected. And we got confirmation that we're in a good orbit. All right, so we're now going to enter a coast phase. So we're going to take a quick break. Orbit but insertion. we'll be leaving you with an animation that shows where we are in the coast phase, and we'll be back at about T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relight, followed by another brief coast and then payload deploy. 
Hopefully we'll be able to bring you that payload deploy live on the webcast. So we'll see you back here in just over 35 minutes.